but um, on, not only um, not in, not only static images uh, are encouraged to be shared online, but let's also share videos. Videos. Here's a video that you can share online. Who am I? Am I what I do? An artist? An accountant? A teacher? A mother? Or am I what I've achieved? An honor student? An MVP? A winner? Am I the things I've done right? Or am I defined by the things I've done wrong? Am I a saint? A sinner? What about what others think of me? Am I all of these things? None of these things? Who am I? How I identify myself determines how I approach life. If I am what I do, I'll always need to do more and achieve more to find my value. If I am what others say, I'll always try to please people instead of my Heavenly Father. But if I listen to who God says I am and embrace His identity in me, I'll find the freedom to live out all He has planned for me. God calls me His child. He says I am wise and restored, that I'm a brand new creation in Christ. I am chosen and holy and blameless before God. He calls me His masterpiece. I am loved by God. He says I am made complete through the grace and mercy of Jesus, my Savior. And when I see myself the way God sees me, I walk with confidence because I trust the one who answers the question. That is a very, very short video, but it captures really who you are. And if only the young people would know who they really are, then a lot of the pains would be avoided. Or you can create your video, your own video. This is simple. That's simple. Six seconds. You can create your own. Websites to check out. Again, Pinterest, Instagram, Snapchat, Tumblr, Flickr. Here, pimpampong.net slash booker. You can create your own photo books. Pimpampong.net slash booker. You can create your own photo books. And it's for free. It's for free. And it's quite easy. There are helps to do that. Then, connected to that is Bumper. You can create your own comic strips using Bumper. And then you have visual forces. These are free images that you can download on various topics. For clip arts, you can have, or pictures, sorry, uh, yeah, clip art, freepick.com. Freepick.com. And then you have photos for the soul, uh, photos for souls. Yeah, all for free. This one, journeyswiththemessiah.org, is by Michael Belk. He was a fashion photographer, but he felt empty. So a friend visited him, and during that visit, he learned about Christ. And he dedicated his life to Christ. And since then, he created images that are based on um, modern interpretations of gospel stories. For example, this one. Or this one. What image, uh, what gospel story would this be? The rich young man, right. Okay. And for Lent, you can use this. Would you like to take this place? Okay. For videos, you can go to values.com. Values.com. It has all kinds of values and very, very short images. Values.com. Of course, you have God's shoe.com. St. Paul's shoe by the St. Paul Fathers. And uh, YouTube. 
www.vatican.com slash user slash Vatican. I think we have time. Okay. I want you now, of course you have your own phone tabs, right? Yes. Why don't you take a picture of anything that would describe about, uh, that would tell people about the love of God? You can write, you can write on your notebooks or you can cross pencils, anything. I'll give you one minute. I'm serious. I'm serious. It was a bit over. Take and then do. Now is the do part. Take a picture of anything that will capture God's love. One minute long. Is that okay? Very good. May vantage point sila, may cross on. You can draw, you can take a picture of your friend. You class with you forever as a catechist. Game? Ready? Tapos na po? Tapos na? Ay, hindi pa nag-yes lahat eh. Sina po ang tapos na? Okay. Kasi may gagawin kayo after. Kaya kailangan meron meron. Images, post faith filled images. Next, it's about sharing. Sharing. Give them something to share. Give them something to share. Give them something to reshare. So you share, must you share ba ulit in Pino's Or it, will it just stop on your timeline? Gives them something to repost or to repeat. Again, social network doesn't stop with you. It should continue. It should be shared as much as possible. That's why Pope Francis, during the during his visit. It was this. It was in USD that he said, "Let Jesus be known in the world of politics, business, art, science, technology, and social media." The the past popes have been focusing, no, um, reiterating over and over and over and over again the use of social media for evangelization. Social media, and as I said. He was the most repeated public figure in the world. More than Obama. That's why he is the rock star of social media. And when you post anything on social media, we should engage others upon truth, beauty, and goodness. Consistently. It should be consistent. Who you are online should be who you are offline. There shouldn't be any division. What if a catechist would teach about God and then in media rant about everything bad in the world? Then that is not consistent witnessing. In, uh, in again in the people visit last year, Pope Francis says, uh, he said, "What do you think you must feel?" and put into effect. Your information comes down to your heart and you put it into practice harmoniously. What you think, you feel, 
You do. Feel what you think and feel what you do. Do what you think and what you feel. Your offline life must be consistent with your online life. Because what you post says something about who you are. What you share says something